Welcome to Goshen Prepping. Thanks so much for joining us. Within the prepping community, there's a lot of talk how the Earth's magnetic poles could flip, resulting in cataclysmic changes. Is that something we can survive? Is that something we could even prepare for? Let's jump right into it. First, let's take a moment and explain how this works. Earth's North Magnetic Pole is on the move. Here's what will happen when our poles flip. And if I scroll down a little bit, this is a great graphic representation of what the magnetosphere looks like surrounding the Earth. Notice not just on one side, but it's on both. In fact, it stretches way over here. Let me explain what's going on. This is another way to look at it, more like a 2D model. And we'll see here's the Earth. And because of, well, it's theorized the magnetic or the iron core of the Earth creates this magnetosphere surrounding the Earth. And instead of being circular or even donut shaped, instead it's pushed off this way. The whole magnetosphere is pushed off in this direction because of solar wind. Simply put, radiation coming from the sun. This radiation from the sun creates this bow shock wave, which causes all this magnetosphere to push in this direction. But the key is that magnetosphere holds that solar radiation and stops it from hitting the earth. And that's what we worry about with the pole shift. If the poles shift, what's gonna happen with that magnetosphere? Well, first, will they flip? And this is interesting to see. The poles have always been moving, that's true. That's nothing new. In fact, they have flipped before. And we're getting into uh, theoretical stuff here, but since the last extinction, they've reversed roughly every 300,000 years. However, for some reason, it has not occurred for 780,000 years, we're due. Over the last 150 years, the magnetic pole, well, not where Santa lives, because understand, truly, the Earth has two poles. Well, two North Poles, think of it that way. And when you actually look at a globe, you know, you always have the pin here where the Earth spins on it. That's what we call the geographic North that actually sets up the very top of the world, if you want to look at it that way. The magnetic north is not there though, it's actually off to the side. And when we talk about in a later video how to read compasses and how to use it with maps and such, that's something you need to know. But over the last 150 years, that magnetic north pole has moved 685 miles northwest. So much so, 100 years ago, it was actually in northern Canada. Today, it's over the Arctic Ocean and making its way towards Siberia. But it's worse than that. It's speeding up. It's accelerating up to 25 or 30 miles per year faster than it was the year before. And that's one of the reasons we have a concern it might flip. Actually, more of a fear. Because again, stick with us. You'll see some cataclysmic changes. But because the movement is accelerating, there's something changing. In this article, the magnetic field is shifting. The poles may flip. This could get bad. And this is important because it says the shield that protects Earth from the radiation is losing strength. We can't prevent it but we ought to prepare. Now you're speaking my language. So you can see in this representation here how the magnetic North Pole is here in Northern Canada. It's now shifted across the Arctic Ocean, heading towards Siberia. It is definitely on the move. So what will happen if they flip? We're actually seeing multiple poles developing and more than two poles is not a good thing. This causes the planet to have multiple fields and they all fight each other. When the poles flip, this battle weakens the Earth's protective magnetic field by up to 90%. So going back to the picture, this is showing a magnetosphere of 100% power, stopping all the solar wind from coming in. Imagine if we lost 90% of this, far more solar radiation will bombard Earth and us. When this happens, that harmful radiation will damage our cells, causing cancer, will fry electric circuits and grids, causing us to lose pretty much all of our electronics, networks, internet, etc. We'll expose planes to higher levels of radiation, making flying unsafe, Animals that depend on this magnetic field will have their internal compasses and navigational abilities hindered. And then look at this, will cause some places to become simply too dangerous to live. Ultimately, no lights, no computers, no cell phones, no water, no flushing toilets, no filling your car's gas tank. All of that will be impossible. And that's just for starters. This could, and very much will, send us back into an agrarian society. Agricultural only, no more vehicles, no more tractors, no more planes, no more traveling per se going back to horse and buggy. That's even if you could survive this because we're actually looking at this happening. There's two things we need to, if we could anyway, prepare for. Number one, obviously you need to be able to have things in your home because if we're looking at a loss of everything, there's no more going to the grocery store, no more even driving. Do you have enough food and stuff stockpiled and put away? For how long? This may be quite a while. And even more so, you need to be ready to bug out. We talk about bugging out is always going to be your last ditch effort. Don't do it unless you're going to die. This could make that situation happen where you may die. Because understand that if your area, because the magnetic field is weakened around your home per se, or your, your vicinity where you live, it could easily make it so that radiation is exposing it. And if you stay, you're going to fry. 
you're literally going to get cooked with the radiation. So you have to have a contingency plan to obviously bug out and literally go somewhere else permanently. Okay, so the good news. It hasn't happened in hundreds of thousands of years. And are we due for it? Sure. But we're overdue by hundreds of thousands of years. Is it going to happen tomorrow? The next day? Perhaps, of course, it, but more than likely, statistically speaking, it very well may not even happen in our lifetime or even our kid's lifetime. Keep that in mind. Just like all contingencies, we need to be prepared. But right now, don't lose any sleep over this one unless we see some changes happening even faster. And of course, on Goshen Prepping, I will keep you informed and alerted if that does happen. Thanks for watching.